Okay, this is your chart reading still. Okay, your Mercury's in Gemini, so you think before you speak is how you communicate, usually. Is that correct, John? Do you think that you agree with me? You don't just spurt, spurt out things like I do, because I am a Gemini, because Cancer Rising. My persona is about to talk, about to speak, and it's going to create more um, communication. And you are also an air sign in your persona because it could be Aquarius rising. According to your birth chart, you're born 2 a.m. and you, uh, May 16th, 1981. I remember that. Wow. I never usually remember things like that. And you are a Mars and Taurus. So nothing really makes you that mad and freak out and yell or argue or whatever the crap because you don't want to eliminate the pleasure. So you're like, okay, with being like sitting back and tolerating everybody's bullshit. But in secret, you're just embarrassed and you can't, um, speak up about um, what's really bothering you because it didn't bother you as much as it did if someone was kept on nitpicking you and nitpicking you and forcing you. And plus, y'all are, um, you know, Tauruses are, would take longer if you try to rush them when they were mad. So, like, you can't really even make a Taurus mad if you try to rush them to be mad. And it would be really funny. They would give you this beautiful persona as them not getting mad and stuff I and mean, you can agree upon that they're not m that mad and you could be like bonding friends with them so your rising sign has this free creative friendly tendency to be um aquarius like but you secretly are a libra and people are just using you you probably could feel and you're like you're not you had enough of me you know you i balanced you enough you, you put too much weight or not balance um from inside of me and how i feel you know what i mean because i'm a moon and libra that's how my mother treated me and um stuff it just made me whoever i am but it was charming you had a charming mother right you know a balanced one is she let you you she let you use her and that's why they need the needs of others you get to be in they get to be inside of you when they're balanced you hold them up to a balance you hold them you make them float you make them feel beautiful even at your highest point from inside you know you're the inside out person if someone sees that inside of you that they get to use for a balance scale and gets to feel beauty that's why your moon is in libra you understand your sun signs in the third house so like you on the platform you were you get you get shined in and everybody revolves around you by communicating with you you communicating with them you are in the light of communication but in the third house you have a taurus and that shines in on you so you're just sophisticatedly brightly just there about financial financial security and your moon is actually in the eighth house where it's Libra as well. When you die a Libra, you are the balance scales. You are the one that the elements that sit on you because you're not an animal. You're not a, a human. So people treat you like, oh my God, this person's so beautiful. And they were, we bonded and we were in a good relationship together. Oh, he, they were a Libra. They were charming because you don't just put off you know, someone who's a douchebag bitch. Only, you're only remembered in the public, in the jungle where everything's like freaking, um, expansive and take what you can oh i'm gambling this is the world of gambling you see things as that way you're perceiving uh, you perceive things when you're out in the public of embarrassment because uh, you know mars and taurus get embarrassed and it and also your sun sign um is part of your taurus like ego the sun sign which is the ruler leo rules that sun sign that's shining in on who the imprint you are in your life your mercury your Mercury is in, is another place where you speak from and think, you know, and create yourself. It is in the uh, fourth house at home. So at home, you like to talk more and the most, and that's where you can think the most. And that's where your energies and your own self think more. So that when you're comfortable in Taurus, so they need to be comfortable. They try to make everything kind of their home, uh, for their own body at least. And they want to feel their body and be sensual with the body, be relational and be known as being beautiful. Just being like a pat, you know, one of those cows in the pastures That's all they are. And they just create eating the right, you know, your, your purpose here is to be in the spotlight because your North Nod is in Leo. You came here to gain the characteristics of a lion, of a king, a real king. And you don't even know anything about this because you come on friendly, but in the public, in the jungle world, you come out as a inconsiderate, stupid ass, dick jerk, disgusting thing that everyone just so happens to be well known. You're all well known for it. So you'll be well known for that. But when you're during your death, during your time 
or your despair of your darkness, when you show people your eighth house, which is Libra, they see someone beautiful and balanced that they can balance off you. So someone's going to, everyone's going to know you. The ninth house is Scorpio. Your Lilith is in Scorpio. So you're proud of things that are Scorpio. You fought for being a Scorpio. So you, you're always in a church-like place whenever you are uh, preaching about your own being as an eighth house Libra. You're preaching about how you are beautiful and how you can use your, um, you think what is intelligent because it's part of your mind, which is Libra is the mind airwaves. So you will think that you're intelligent because people are giving you this great attention for being a Libra and you're going to be proud of that you're a Scorpion uh, Lilith and you know you just are a little jerk head as a Scorpio like I don't need no pussy astrology information I don't need no pussy god I don't I need somebody to actually uh, tell me what's real here which it, whenever what I'm whenever I'm fighting for the things because I'm in the darkness of the spirit I don't need to know what's real here is it death that's real is it sex that's will or is it transformation is it going to transform me and and I'm proud of my own transformance because of everyone thinking that I was all friendly rising Aquarius the real humanitarian person I'm here to actually respond to giving you help because I have information because I think I know everything and I want to let everyone know that I think I know everything because I'm an Aquarius rising that's my face and people see that and like because you're the all-knowing and you're upper world ruler so you also have an ego in that